hey what's going on youtube we're back today with a brand new video and today we're back with why they should make a roblox jailbreak part three so without wasting any time let's hop straight into today's video jailbreak is one of my favorite games and i think it needs a new coat of paint but let's talk about why So, Jailbreak, if you don't know, a little history behind it, used to be the most popular game mode on the entire game. And this is important because it's still just as good as ever, but now it's just a little older. I don't think it has as many players as before, so I think it needs a new game to bring some more players in. But next up, let's talk about how it's different. So this game is different because it brings in elements from all different genres to create one truly special multiplayer game. And the reason why that's so important is because it doesn't feel like any other game. A lot of games like most simulators tend to feel similar because they do a lot of the same things just with a different coat of paint on it. This one. You would never play a game like this on Roblox because it is truly almost one of a kind if you really think about it. If you've played Roblox Jailbreak before, I think you can attest to this yourself. But next up, let's talk about the art style. So this game looks absolutely amazing and that's one of the biggest positives about it. In my opinion, it's one of the best looking, if not the best looking Roblox minigame there is. And with that being said, it raises a couple questions. Is this game always going to be one of the best looking games? If so, that's a plus. Or will this game end up being the standard to where the rest of Roblox will have to catch up? Either way, that's quite an accomplishment for this game. And that's just more of a reason to play it because it is truly that much more groundbreaking than the rest of the Roblox. But next up, let's talk about how it's addictive. So in my opinion, I think this game is one of the more well-designed games on Roblox because it's easy to pick up and play, but hard to master. And the reason why that's important is because the game is inclusive for all players. You see, this game allows new players to just start playing and still have some success and have fun while being able to retain more experienced veteran players by providing a skill gap. And the reason why this is important is because if a new player was to play and immediately get destroyed, chances are they wouldn't have fun, which means they would never end up playing it for a long term. So this game was designed greatly. But next up, let's talk about the different ways that you can play. So this game is great because you can always play exactly how you want to. You see, you can play this game solo or with friends and you can change up how you want to play it by choosing a more casual, regular public match game mode or a more competitive game mode if you wanna see how you rank up against other players. And with that being said, you never have to worry about not getting the true experience that you want and you can mix and match that way you can always have the right game mode for you. That is super important because the game is super versatile. But that's it guys. That's been a video. This has been why they should make a Roblox jailbreak part three. But like always, if you enjoy, please make sure you like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss out on our free Roblox giveaway at the end of the month.